Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV, another episode of Our Crazy Life. Our Crazy Life. Our Crazy Life. And on February 25th, 1989, Cindy and I traveled to Las Vegas uh, with some friends and family. Yes, we did. Went to the Little Chapel of the West. Yes, I believe that was what it's called. And said our... We got married. We got married. And 30 so, years ago. Well, today is February 25th, 2019. And of course, she just jumped the gun. That would be... 30 years. Well, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I love you. 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 I love you more than I did yesterday. Oh, that's so sweet. Anyway. But anyway, 30 years. It's quite, I think it's quite an accomplishment. Quite an accomplishment. For us? Yes. It's a phenomenal accomplishment. For anybody. I think it's a big deal, you know, but people... Well, first of all, we're too strong, very strong-willed. First, you know... There's a river flowing. Anyway. And I'm flowing with that river. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm swimming with the river. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that's one reason why we're still married is that he always makes you laugh. Yes. What do I do for you? You make me uh, happy. <laughs> when skies are gray. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're you're very positive and you keep yeah, me going that way and stuff. I said that people go. Well, how, how was it easy? No, no. no it there was many times we said, "Hey, we're I, I'm, I'm done. I, I can't yeah, do this yeah, anymore." Yeah, yeah. We said like, well, first of all. First of all, we met and became friends first. Yes. We were really good friends. You were a great listener. You are still hmm. a great... What'd you say? <laughs> You're still a, a great listener. Um, I sometimes just go, ah, and then take off and go for it, that where you bring me back down to reality and say, okay, you know, you, either I'm overreacting or you tell me this is not okay or my behavior wasn't all right and you bring me back down to oh, earth. You've done the same. You've done right, the same we do thing it for me. each other. Just give and take. And then, you um, know, we had three kids. And we we did. But I'm going to tell the story. Okay. So when we started dating, which was May 24th, 1989, was our first date. No, that's not 89. Uh, May 24th, 1986. Seven. Six. 86. Seven. No, 86. 86. Okay. Because right. we've been together 33 years. 33 years? Oh, my God. Anyway. Um, you can't tell, can you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we did not want to go out because we didn't want to ruin the friendship. Because right. we had a great friendship. Yes. A really good friendship with respect and honesty and enjoyed each other's friendship. Um, I always got along better with guys and girls. I don't know why. Maybe because I couldn't stand drama of the girls. But with you, I enjoyed your friendship. So we wrote a little note. <laughs> and we wrote to each other. And we said, if it didn't work out, no matter what, we would still be friends. I think we still have the note somewhere. Yeah, mine got tested a few times. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I think one point in our because marriage is a roller coaster. It's it is a roller coaster ride. Like we, we tell our kids, yeah, you know, we tell anybody it has it's, it's it's up. It has your highs and lows, and there was there's the, there's been some highs and there's been some lows. Yes, and I think bottom line is we, we always go back to we don't want to not be friends, right? Because you're the person I want to tell in something good. You're the person I want to tell in something bad. You're the person that I want to talk to every day. I can't imagine not talking to you every day. So when things got bad, I think you and I both stepped back and said, hey, we're, we're going to cross a line where we won't be able to come back and still yeah. remain friends. Well, it's um, like I always say, because sometimes you'll, you'll go to bed angry. I say never go to bed hungry. And uh, <laughs> seriously, I, I, I always say, you know what? Because you'll go, I'm not talking to you. And I go, well, I could die tonight. You do say that. I, I could die in my sleep. And then I stop. Because I'm being unreasonable. Because you're more logical sometimes Well, it's than just I you am. never go to bed angry. No, you should and never go to bed angry. We, we may have said, okay, I forgive you, but it's still like, uh, I'm still a little mad. Yeah, that's true. And there are times when I didn't like you very much. There's times I didn't like you And there were times where like I thought... Like maybe like three minutes ago. No. And there were times where I thought, oh my God, I'm the luckiest woman in the world. Again, like a roller coaster mm -hmm. in the relationship. Yes. But bottom line is we became, we, we may have always been friends first. Um, and we've always dated each other. When the kids were... You know, one of the things I told all three of our kids is you have to date. You have to go out. You have... You remember the times when we were so poor, we would go to Costco to buy our groceries every other... Thursday. And this is back in the day when you, where you could write it. a check and then make it for a little bit more and you didn't have to worry about it bouncing. Because you got paid. We got paid. We got paid on Fridays. Got paid, you got paid every week back then. Right? Um, and I think it was every other week. Anyway, every, whatever every, it was. Whatever. So we would go to Costco, buy the groceries for the week, and we would write $25 over. And we'd get to go to Denny's. Denny's. And, and we would go to the movies. The movies were cheaper in the afternoons. Yeah, in the afternoons. And that, that was one of the reasons. The reason why we did Thursdays, we were both fortunate we had Thursdays off. We did it because we didn't want to take time away from our kids because right. we both worked. You worked two jobs then. Um, you know, and your business and then work. And we didn't want to take time away from our children. So this is what we thought was a The kids were probably thinking, take time away from us. They probably did. Go ahead. I know, but we thought this was logical. And we did that forever. 
It was always Thursdays. We yeah. always went. I out. mean, we didn't always have to write a check. <laughs> no, as we got it through the years, no, but, but, things did get better. I mean, we didn't we, have to write a check. Kids, they all have braces. They, yeah, you know, it's, they were going to Catholic school, which yes. was expensive. Yes, it and was. It just, it just, you know, there was money was tight. Extremely tight. But you make do with what you can, and uh, oh, but there was times we didn't do anything. Like we might drive to the beach. For yeah. a day. And that, you know, obviously that was gas, but gas is a little cheaper. I mean, when you um, live in San Diego, you have options. Not that the city's, I guess there's options in every city, but San Diego has options that we like to, we enjoy. Do we go to the beach or we, right. or we go to a Padre game? Yeah. Thursday days, you know, right. Thursday business men especially go to a Padre game. You get cheap tickets and True. stuff there. Was, but we always date it. Yes. We always make sure that we did that. And I think that's important. Um, I don't know the secret. I think the secret of ours is that we wanted to be married. Um, we wanted to stay together, and we wanted to celebrate our 30th. I thought we would be somewhere else on our 30th, like somewhere like Tahiti or Tahiti. Europe or somewhere fun, but that didn't hey, work we're out. in Raleigh. <laughs> we're in Raleigh, and we're going to Angus Barn. Maybe for our 35th anniversary, we're going to Angus Barn because our wonderful children gave us a wonderful gift card for yeah. Christmas, and that's how we're going. Because money's a little tight now that you know, you're not working, and I'm working and kind of starting over and not making the same salary I used to make. So we're doing we're a little different. Over. And it's hard to adjust. I think that's the hardest part because we work so hard. I'm not saying nobody else worked hard, but we worked so hard in achieving everything in our life. You know, nothing came easy. Everything we've got in life, we worked our butts off, sent our kids to college. I was a crazy woman. You know, you helped me not to be so crazy about them being in school and just <laughs> kind of progressed and we just kept going and, and kind of like I felt like we were kind of like as far as we could go, you know? Well, you know, sometimes you got to get knocked knocked down. You True. Know, and then you, get, you build yourself back up and you... Uh, right, but I could, I could imagine being as it was that time losing, you know, that job back in December 2017 and not be with you. I mean, we worked together for all, most of our 33 years. Yes. And I know people always thought that was odd, but it worked because he is a team player and you have no ego. And sometimes I think that help, hurts you though because you do need to have an ego. An ego. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we work well together. I think we're we're just it just worked out. I think we worked at it. It wasn't again, like I said, it's it's not easy for people just to, you know if you're listening to this and you've only been married a year or two, you think oh my god I can't you know there are times that yes I, I don't want to come home I don't want to see you and you think you felt the same way I don't want to see you I don't want to talk to you you're irritating me but no, it, over you know again it, it keeps using that metaphor it's a roller coaster it is there's you're gonna mm -hmm. have highs you're gonna have lows and you know sometimes you know you have to. Some people have to divorce because they're, they're just not meant for each other. It's just bad for you. It's bad for the well, kids. Well, I was married before and it didn't work the first marriage I was in. And right. it, just, it was the best thing that I could have done for um, Jay and myself. And it and, and did turn out well. Um, but that, that does happen. doesn't mean that you should stay together because someone else stayed together. You no, have you to should, do what's best for you. Best for you and your family. And your family. Because if you're not happy, it's, it's going to... Filter down to your kids, right. but you know you can again. Like I said, there were times we were two we, ships passing. Oh my gosh, night, yes! And, and the, we used to have some really good fights. I threw a TV at you once. You, you did throw a TV at me. Yeah. Uh, well, couldn't quite. Well, you, you were t throwing it down on the ground. No, because, not the TV. Because I would get really angry, and and I was young, and and that's how I got, would get frustrated. But we had a lot of stuff that played into that relationship in the beginning of ours. It was a tough. I'm surprised we made it 30 years <laughs> when you think about it. But we made it. Yes, we're we did. here. Yes. And we're on our crazy life. We're on our crazy life. Yes. But that's that's all. We just just wanted to share our little experience there. And oh, but I did say, you know, we, we decided because we were going to, we were planning a bigger wedding and I'm like going, I go, oh my God, this is, you know, because we had, we already well, had. Well, I wanted, I've been married before and I didn't know you, you never married before when we got married. Yeah. Um, but the best thing about you too is that you loved our son. The, and then not only did you, but when I knew that you were the right guy too, is because not only did you love our our son, but your mom, your dad, your sisters, your your aunts, your uncles. They don't love him now. Yes, they do. They, it wasn't just. And then I realized how well your family is, and the way they raised you, and the care, and the love, and the support. I mean, they never looked at Jay differently. He, no. from the minute they we started dating, he was their grandson, he's their never, nephew. He's never been a step-grandson. No. He's, he's never been a I hate that word anyway. He, he's my son. Yeah. And that's how we roll with it. It's but, funny because our girls were like in their maybe 14, 15 and they didn't, they finally realized that Jay was a half-brother and I, I got, I was like, Patrick, I was like, no, he's, because I'm, I don't want anybody to ever feel less than, not just my children, but anybody in life. No one should feel like they're less than. No. And so that bothered me when they used the word half. So I never used that word. So, you know, of course I, Gave her a hard time, and then I explained to her. I go, I'm sorry, I'm sensitive to that. And it, I go, technically, I guess you could say that. 
Um, but I and, just, and if, we never, if people say that, I, I'm not, we're not judging you. No, it's whatever gosh, makes, no. Whatever exactly. makes you feel comfortable, just in our this family. This is how I, I we, we didn't want, to, we didn't want that. And a lot of it is my own way I was brought up and the way I felt in life. My father left when I was five and maybe in my 59, you know, was that five for 54 years, I saw him three other times and that feeling of rejection and all the stuff that I went through, I didn't want my own children. So that's how I'm so crazy about step and half and all those things. Not because anybody else, if that's what they feel, that's fine. But I personally, because of the abandonship, aban being abandoned and how I felt, I didn't want my children to feel the same way. So that's why I was funny about all those little words. That, yeah. So yeah. I, what I started to say for that, though, is we, we, travel, we were looking at the wedding. I'm like, oh, my God. And we were looking for like a June wedding, but someone got pregnant. Yes. And so, so we had to. Two of us did that. Well, someone got pregnant, <laughs> so we had to speed up the date because you didn't want to walk down the aisle. I didn't want to walk down the aisle because mm -hmm. you know why? I remember my grandmother, many marriages, like nineteen, like 76, 77, My cousin got had to get married because she was pregnant. And so if I was seventeen, she was probably like I don't know, maybe eighteen, nineteen. I can't remember the years difference. Anyway, nobody said how far along she was, and I still to this day could still vision the seeing her come down the aisle, and my grandmother turned to me and went, "Oh my God." And I was so embarrassed. <laughs> so I did not. Your grandma was old school. Yes, she was old school. <laughs> old school Catholic. Yeah, old school Italian Catholic. Okay. So I, um, <laughs> I did not want to have that experience of you know being pregnant and walking down the aisle. Um, and so I, we got married in February. Yeah. So I looked at the. I was like, this is, and I'm not a big wedding guy anyway. If you've heard me on the, the podcast, Ramblecast, and stuff like that, you'll hear me a married man. I would say, I just think big weddings are just ridiculous. I mean, we've our daughters had two big weddings. We, you know, you accepted it. Accepted you did a very good job. Paid for it. Had, had fun and did all that stuff. To me, it's just here. Here's what we're gonna spend. Do you want the money? I even I offered to, uh, our, our uh, oldest one. I said she would have taken it. I said this is what we're gonna spend, but I'll give you this to go. Just go. To the, I wouldn't let her take it. She, ah, she wanted the money, but anyway. Yes, she did. But you know, so we decided. I go. We're just gonna go to Vegas. Anybody wants to come with? Come with us, and that's. All. And we had about what twenty, twenty five people. Yeah, we had. And I, mean, I don't know if it, even they, my grandmother was there, who hates traveling, and she was there. Yeah, I don't know if they were there for us or Vegas. We're not really. Well, sure. I know my grandmother was there for us because she wouldn't have been there for Vegas. She didn't believe in gambling. But, but it was a good time. We had fun at the wedding. You're laughing through the whole thing. Uh, when I'm nervous, I laugh and giggle. Uh, that's one of the one things that I do when I'm really, really nervous. And I was nervous because. Number one, I, again, I didn't want to make another mistake. Uh, I've already had one divorce, and I didn't. I was pregnant with Heather, and I didn't want to like, as my mother said, you're going to get married with every single have a, uh, what's she saying? Have a child with a different guy. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that, mom. Anyway, I get what she was saying. She probably could have said it a little differently, but my mom, that was not. She, she didn't have tact. No, she didn't. So have that. anyway. Um, so I was nervous of what, you know, if we were going to make it and difficult because, you know, we did have the stressors in there of, of Jay and, and the dealing with that we had to deal with on that end. And, um, so, you know, we just didn't, didn't know it was going to be difficult, but, but again, we made it and we're yes. here 30 years and in 30 yeah. years from now, I will be, do you think we'll still be here? I'll be 89, 89. I will be 84, 86. <laughs> You're only two and a half years. Can we make it 60 years? I mean, that's a long time. 60 years. Well, 30 years. When you think about 30 years, that is like over half my life has been with you. Yeah. Well, 33 years together, yeah. Yeah. Over half of my life. And I've been married, I was married before, so just think of that. Yeah. That's really weird. But anyway. that's that's what we got. If you, if you have things you want to talk about, your your marriage or different We're things. not experts. We're so not experts. Not, yeah, no, <laughs> no so, but if you, if you have comments about what how, how your marriage has been, how many years you've been married. Yeah, and what and what worked for you and, and what kept you know, do you yeah, go to bed angry or do you forgive? Yeah, or just um, uh, how do you how do you solve an argument? Maybe we'll talk about that later on. I don't know if you ever solve an argument. I think I think that's hard. Okay, but anyway, put it in the comment section and we'll, you know, maybe we can just get some dialogue going. That'd be fun. And we'll... I do love you. Do you love me? I love you too. Oh, though. whatever. Do you love? Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's all we got for this episode of Our Crazy Life. Oh my gosh. Hope you enjoyed it and I think that's all we got. I'm out of here. Bye. Oh, wait. Wait, Don't what? Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, did you forget the subscribe button? Don't forget to subscribe. Everybody have a good week. We'll uh, we'll talk about our next thing we're doing too. Our, our little fun thing we're doing, right? Well, I don't know if it's fun, but anyway, we'll for talk. thirty years we're doing thirty something. Thirty something. Thirty headaches a day. Yes. No. That's all. I got. <laughs> Bye. Bye.